Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Chris Hummel from Mississauga. I play in a retro rock and roll inspired band by the name of the Dreamboats, and I cannot wait to host the Open Mic Amphitheater Unplugged on August 29th. I started in music with a lot of the school system talent shows, open mic nights, cafe nights, and also a lot of friends that hosted open mics in the area. Just did a lot of performing with friends and jamming out in garages just to stay out of trouble. I've been involved in the Mississauga art scene and culture for the past, I guess you can say I've been an active performer since I was about 19 years old. So doing the math, it's, it's been a while, definitely over a decade, let's say that, <laughs> let's say that. My favorite venues to perform at in Mississauga, the first and you know the, the best one I'd like to say, it definitely tugs on my heartstrings when I, when I play there, is definitely the Living Arts Centre, had the opportunity to play there a couple times, and just seeing family and friends, you know, local fans and, and all that, and it's, it's just been an awesome, awesome venue to play for, yeah. Mississauga's culture has influenced me, I guess you can say, with a lot of different genres of music. A lot of different people are coming to Mississauga and it's a great thing, it's a beautiful thing. I feel there's so many different things I'm inspired by, people that I'm inspired by, and different tastes in music. And just, yeah, I'd like to say the arts in general here in Mississauga and everyone's take on it has just been very inspiring and makes you want to have your own little take on it yourself and, you know, bring that forward. I would say another big, big factor that inspires me is definitely my parents. My mom always wanted me to be in arts. My father was, uh, was a musician when he was younger and an artist himself. Just growing up, because seeing my father you know, do these things and also how encouraging my mother was, it made me feel like this is something really normal to do and very awesome to do and I'd have a, a cool, cool time doing it. So I'd like to think that my parents were a big hand in really pushing me forward and inspiring me to pursue a career in the arts. If I wasn't doing music, I'd probably still be doing something in the arts. I love sports as well. I was big into, into dance when I was younger, break dancing. I love playing foosball and I also compete these days in foosball. I remember when I wrote in my biography when I was in grade six, I said I always wanted to become a soccer superstar. So let's just say if I didn't play music, I would have probably tried to become a soccer superstar. Yeah, let's say that. I'm a full-time artist. I'm happy that I'm a full-time artist or else I would have been probably going crazy right now. And a lot of that started with just getting out there, connecting with a lot of people. You know, when a job comes up, you want someone to think of your name, I guess you can say. And I did a lot of volunteer hours. You know, one thing that's, you know, I, that I'm really pride myself on is really trying to take the initiative to go. And if you don't know something, do your best to go and learn it or work under someone that you, you know, you look up to. See the way they do it, the way they deliver it, and you just, inherit those skills one way or another. And that started off with, with teaching. I've been actively pursuing, performing, I guess we say rocking out, I guess with the band, the Dreamboats for like the past nine years, trying to find multiple venues and just get out there like an entrepreneur. A lot of the reasons I got work was just putting myself out there a lot and just doing my homework, practicing a lot. And all these things just seem to come together when you really, really want them, so yeah. My first ever live performance that I, I can say is probably, well the, the best one I can remember was when I was in high school and I think a lot of the reasons why I still do what I do today was because of this moment in high school and uh, we did a open mic cafe night and I remember I was playing drums and then I went up to grab the mic uh, to bring it back to the drums to sing When I Come Around by Green Day. And I remember when I went up to the front of the stage during this cafe night, I had so much support in high school, a lot of friends and a lot of cool people that, you know, that really, really supported it and loved the arts. And I just remember hearing these like shrieking screams that were so loud, they almost hurt my ears and I loved it. And I loved it. And I'm, and I'm always trying to, I guess you can say, get that feeling back of, uh, of just performing for people and making them happy and feeling really good about it. 
An upcoming project that we have in the works right now is a new album. We're going to be releasing a record. Uh, we've done a couple different sessions with the band, one in California and another one recently just at uh, one of our rock and roll legends that we really look up to by the name of Ronnie Hawkins, who has a property out in Peterborough that he just sold. We just went and recorded some songs out of his barn that a lot of well-known Canadian artists have recorded out of. And we made a little mini documentary about it, and we're going to be putting both these sessions on a record soon to be released and uh, and hopefully maybe around like four months from now or maybe half a year from now kind of thing so yeah it's, it's in the works but excited about it. I'm really excited about Amphitheatre Unplugged. I've, I've hosted a lot of uh, youth open mics in my career. I love I love the sound of, of the amphitheatre. I love the crowd that comes out to the amphitheatre. I'm always looking forward to seeing my friends up on stage. I'm always looking forward to seeing the, the youth and getting you know, getting the youngsters up there and getting them to get the experience of performing live and know what it's like to feel the love from their city. Just trying to, you know, get as many opportunities to showcase students and also my, my friends and, yeah, get the community going. It's great. Hey everyone, I'm Chris Hummel once again and I'm really excited to be hosting the Amphitheatre Unplugged on August 29th. Hope you can make it, bring your friends and family, and let's have a good show. This uh, song is coming off one of our new releases. It's about a girl I had a crush on in high school. The name of the song is called Marta Sky. Here we go. Is she a wild one? I'll never know. And I'm waiting for the day that she walks right into my show. I'll probably die. Been a while, but I remember all. You hugged your tiny kisses When you passed me in the halls You see you smile your little my day So I thought I'd say hello I know it goes to show you're not alone My mind, my heart, you always had a home Until this day still make me wanna say Wow, 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 wow Is she a wild one to take me out and dance Put the letters in my pockets When you send me candy grams I can't Take me back to Rizalei at night You're the prettiest thing ever The apple of my eye You see you smile your little my day So I thought I'd say hello I know it goes to show you're not alone My mind, my heart, you always had a home Until this day still make me wanna say Wow, 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 wow Show you're not alone My mind, my heart You always had a 